Hi, this is Lore from Tankspot, and welcome back to the Trial of the Crusader Raid Guide. This video will be discussing our strategy for the 10 man normal version of the Twin Valkyrs encounter. The key to the Twin Valkyrs lies in the effective use of light and dark essence. You can acquire an essence of a particular color by clicking on one of the portals which will spawn around the room shortly before the fight begins. While affected by light essence, you will deal extra damage to the dark Valkyr, Aedis Darkbane, and absorb all light based damage in the encounter. Likewise, when you have Dark Essence, you'll deal extra damage to Fiola Lightbane and absorb all Dark Base damage. Absorbing damage is critical to your success as not only does it make the job much easier for healers, but every absorbed hit will contribute to a stacking debuff called Powering Up. Once Powering Up reaches 100 stacks, you'll get a short-term damage buff called either Empowered Light or Empowered Darkness depending on which essence you currently have active. Periodically, several orbs of light or dark energy will appear at the edges of the room and begin to float around in random directions. When touched, these will explode for a fair amount of AoE damage. Players need to touch the orbs of the same color as their essence and carefully avoid orbs of the opposite color. This is one of the primary ways for DPS to stack powering up, so ideally healers should be the opposite color of the group they're healing in order to avoid stealing orbs from DPS. Roughly every 60 seconds, one of the twins will begin to cast one of two special abilities, either Twins Pact or Vortex. When Vortex is chosen, everyone in the raid needs to immediately switch to that twin's color if they aren't already, as the twin will begin to channel a high damage, non-interruptible AoE that hits the entire raid. Both twins should be tanked near the opposite color portal in order to let everyone switch quickly. Keep in mind that when your essence changes, your damage buff will change to the opposite twin. Ranged DPS especially should switch targets during Vortex. Keep an eye on your powering up stacks as well. If you're close to 100, you'll want to make the most of your incoming Empowered Light or Darkness buff. When Twin's Pact is chosen, the twin casting it will shield herself and begin channeling a massive heal. All DPS needs to focus on that twin quickly, changing essence if necessary, in order to break the shield and expose the caster to interrupts such as Kick or Pummel. Healers and tanks don't need to change essence for Twin's Pact, and once it's been interrupted, any DPS that had to swap can switch back to their original essence. Note that the twins share a health pool. Any damage dealt to one will be taken by the other as well. If you wanted, you could just have all the DPS use the same essence and focus entirely on one twin. However, it's best to split DPS somewhat evenly for two reasons. First, it allows you to have DPS collecting both color orbs, which means faster powering up stacks. It also means you'll always have at least some DPS started already when Twins Pact is cast, and you don't have to risk a heal getting off because the entire raid didn't swap targets fast enough. The Twin Valkyr encounter uses a very unique mechanic that can be somewhat confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, this is ultimately a very simple encounter. Just remember, only touch orbs of the same color as your essence, make sure you're hitting the twin of the opposite color of your essence, and watch carefully for the cues to switch essences. If you'd like to know more information on the Twin Valkyrs or any other encounter, check the Project Marmot forums at tankspot.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, just follow the link in the movie details. Thanks for watching, and good luck!